Hello everyone! Hi! How are you doing, chat? How, I hope you're having a good night, because as, well, if you're watching this after the fact, then you may not know. But the stream started very late tonight. It started late because I lost power. Lost all the power in, my, in, in the neighborhood. So I wasn't able to stream. I was starting up like out over an hour and a half later than usual. And that's why you're seeing Shenmue on the screen right now. You're seeing it there because we're just going to do some Shenmue. That's, that's all we're doing tonight. We're going to do some shenmue and We're going to try to continue on this investigation, try to make some progress. I was going to play some DOS games, uh, and uh, I guess that's going to have to wait. I guess DOS is... we're not going to get to that until later on. So DOS, you better consider yourself on notice, but you are going to get played tonight. But it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen tonight, but what is going to happen tonight is Shenmue. Let me turn the audio on. Star is its only light, and thus the saga begins. The saga is beginning. It the beginning is saga ing. No, it's not beginning because we are continuing the saga. It's, it's still a saga though, produced and directed by Yu Suzuki. I'm gonna press start, and as you might remember, where we stopped off last time was we made the deal with Charlie. They, we were going to meet him at the U-Arcade, where he was going to introduce us to, to a cartel. And, you know, everything is going to probably turn out well. You know, I don't see a reason why this isn't going to go good. Let's get a good night's sleep. We're going to need it when we meet our new friends tomorrow at the Arcade. Our new friends, who were going to be introduced through the man who we threatened, and uh, we put him in a in an arm lock, and was going to twist his arm off until we forced him to. <laughs> Why would Nozomi be worried about us? I mean, she she has nothing to worry about. We're just going to have a chat with Charlie. And Spiritus Knox is asking if I'm capturing off a live Dreamcast or am I emulating? No, this is a live Dreamcast. Live and noisy. Let me see if I can get this Dreamcast a little closer to this microphone. Oh, hold on, I have a cutscene? Father, I promise to avenge you. Your old son. Let's spar for a bit, huh? It's been a while. All right. Okay, we're finally going to get the spar. Let's go. I mean, that seemed pretty intense for a sparring match, Rio. You just slammed your elbow in the back of Fuxan's head. I mean, I guess he can take the hit. Oh, he avoided my throw. That's the Fukusan I know. Yeah, that, that is, I didn't. I didn't expect that level of competency from Fukusan. That was a good one. Oh, so many shots to the face. Oh, but I countered his throw. Rio and Fukusan, obviously, having been sp having been sp sparring for years, they know each other's moves. Oh, finally, Fuxan getting a throw in. About this? Oh, I think I was about to go for like an arm breaker. Fuxan countered. It's been a while since we practiced together. I feel much better now. Have you found something? I've got a lead on the Chinese cartel. Are they the same ones who, who killed Hazuki-sensei? I don't know yet. You're not thinking of going after them alone, are you? You go up against those killers? It's my only option. I know how you feel, but it's too dangerous. Even Sensei couldn't. I've made up my mind. But what if something happens to you? I feel responsible. 
Don't worry about me. No. Ryo-san, is that why you started training? <sighs> oh, please. I'm begging you, please take it over. My mind is made up. I must go. Real son. Ine san, you overheard? Please don't pursue this, Ryo san. I have to. Please step aside. I'm begging you. Respect Hazuki Sensei's will and look after the dojo. I can't believe my father killed someone. Do son. Please wait. There's something I must give to you. Uh, seems unfortunately we are not able to spar with Inesan. I'm sure she must have picked something up, living with the Hazukis all these years. A letter? To my father? This came right after Hazuki Sensei passed away. I had a bad feeling about it, so I felt I should... keep it hidden until today. This letter's in Chinese. But why? Because I didn't want you to do anything foolish and risk your life. And because I don't want you to upset the spirit of your father. Please, make a promise to me. Yes, sir. Please, I need you to promise me. Yes, I promise. Thank you, Dio-san. Okay, few things to, to take into consideration from that. Well, first, let's look at our notebook. What was he promising? He was promising, I think, that he would not go after the cartel. And that he would look after the dojo, because he's the heir, the heir, I should say. Hazuki Sensei is heir. He has, we have a letter that's in Chinese. We can't read Chinese, but maybe, maybe Chinese people can read Chinese. Yeah, so a few things to think about. One, Fuxan's actually not bad at the martial arts. Two, he has a point that we're going after the cartel, but Lan Di just wiped the floor with Hazuki Sensei, and we're not as good as he was. So what is it that we hope to do? Ryo has not actually thought about that at all. Dio, you're asking what kind of Chinese? In this game, there's only one kind of Chinese, and that's Chinese. Well, there's also ancient Chinese that not all Chinese people can read. So, yeah, Ryo is not really given any thought as to what he's going to do when he finds Lan Di, because he is not good enough to take him down. Um, we also just made a promise to Ine-san to stay out of danger, which we are totally going to break. I mean, don't think for a second that Ryo is serious about that. No, we're, we're heading out. We're going to find that cartel. Ryo was lying through his teeth. Through his teeth! Another thing to consider. Ah, uh, Ine-san. allowance. Thanks for the dough. We'll blow it all on capsule toys. Another thing to take into consideration is that uh, Fuxan had a point that he was in. A, he's now in kind of a weird situation that he knows what Ryo is trying to do. Ryo insists not to get involved and not to worry about him. But if something happens to Ryo, kind of res the responsibility on that is kind of on Fuxan as well. If he, oh, hold on, another cutscene. Ryo san. What were you talking about with Ine-san? Well... Is that a letter? In Chinese? Is it from the man who murdered Sensei? I don't know. Damn it! If only we knew someone who reads Chinese! The gears turn in Ryo's head. Wait. It's someone who 
reads Chinese. I, I've been talking to Chinese people. There's a link there, I just know it. Alright, so we have a couple things to do. Hey, cat. We have to get this letter read. And we have to meet Charlie at the arcade. Of course, the most important thing to do is... Check in with Tama. See how Tom Tom's doing. Megumi, I hope you remember what we talked about last time. Hi, Megumi. Hi, Adil. Hey, Adil, Tama can understand me when I talk to her. Whenever I call her, she answers me. Really? It's true, right, Tama? I told you. Wow, that's amazing. That is amazing. Megumi can communicate with the animals. Tama, do you know about Londi? Tama, the man in the black car. On the day when the snow turned to rain? I understand your mother was killed by the black car, Tama, so you must know something. Are you cold? That's Tama. That's, that's a good point. Can Tama read Chinese? Tama, you look well. <laughs> I bet you remember me, don't you? Tama remembers us as the guy who would who did not bring the box into his house that's only a few feet away when it was snowing. Well, Tama has survived the snow, and the experience has only made Tama stronger. I imagine Tama's life so far is sort of like the beginning of Conan the Barbarian, where we see all of the... All the things to uh, Conan is going through, and he gets bigger and badder as it happens. He grows up. Here, eat it. It's tasty. He grows up to be muscle-bound and violent. She's eating. She must have been very hungry. Yeah, and she looks real happy. Thank you, Dio. Yes, Tama does need a cheek bandage. That's correct. So you know that Tama is hard. Tama is not someone to mess with. I don't know if Tama will be an assist character in Shenmue 3 Titan, but maybe we will be able to call Tama on the phone. With phone calls. I did get... I mentioned on... Hold on. Cutscene. A lot of cutscenes today. What's wrong? A man with sunglasses took my soccer ball. He said he'd give it back if I brought you to him. What? Where is he? At the construction site. You. I knew you couldn't resist, boy. What? Remember the tattoo parlor? Payback time. Here, catch. Go home. What? Well, I'm not sure what the point of that was. We were going to meet him at the arcade anyway. Don't know why he had to ambush us. Mm, getting smacked by this guy in the camo. Chinese? Yes. My name's Xiao Gou. 
What's your name? Ryo. Ryo Hazuki. Ryo Hazuki. Yeah. Say, say, Ryo san. Well, that was a strange thing. I mean, I hope Charlie intends to keep his promise about meeting us at the arcade. He's still gonna meet us there, right? But, right? Well, we did help a Chinese boy, which means his parents now have a blood debt to us. They have to do whatever we want. And if they can read Chinese, well, I mean, I think there is one thing we can think about. All right. We're gonna have to figure out who this kid's parents are. Hey, maybe the gossip women know. Sumia-san. Hi, Ryo. Do you know anyone who can read Chinese? Oh, Chinese? I learned some Chinese when I was in college. Ni hao! See? Very impressive. I've got something I want you to translate for me. Oh, you misunderstood me. I can't read stuff. I mean, all I remember is hello and thank you, you know? You see, I took the class only because the instructor was good-looking. Right. Well, thanks for wasting my time. Um... Oh, hello, Ryo. Kondo-san, do you know of anyone who can read Chinese? I don't know anyone, but... Why don't you look for Chinese people in Dobuita and ask them? I see. Deja vu. Okay, let's wander around Dobuita and ask for Chinese people. But first, our normal, you know, our normal routine. Let's get a, a jet soda special. I, th I think it... I'm not sure what that last word is. It's, it's small. Unfortunately, no winning can. Will Rio ever win whatever this prize is? I don't know what it what it even would be. It's hard to get Toy it. Toy capsules, a hundred yen each, huh? Maybe just one. Maybe just several. It's it's essential to our quest for revenge to get all of the capsule toys. Hey, what's this? That's well, Jeffrey is what it is. Maybe I should get another. Are we going to the Tomato Mart? I'm sure we will. That's one of our usual stops. This is cool. Hmm, is that a new Kage? I think we already have a couple. Maybe I should get another. Maybe we should get some Sonic I'll toys. Pass. Oh, hey, kid. You're the one who was thinking it was due, right? Oh, and I... 100 yen each. I don't want to talk, don't want to, talk to the capsule machine. Nah, not today. And the kid's gone. Was he even there? Oh, no, he... Uh, is Ryo just imagining this kid? Do. Do you know anybody who knows Chinese? I do. Yeah, right. Do too. Ni hao means hello. Come on. I told you, didn't I? That'll be a hundred yen. Who are you trying to kid, Munchkin? Now that kid in the background was just laughing it up at listening to this exchange, wasn't he? Hey. Hey, mister. Let's play soccer. Sorry, maybe later, okay? It's been it's pretty dangerous to play soccer around this neighborhood, kid. Toy capsules. A hundred yen each, huh? Maybe just one. Hmm. 
Hmm, I know this. All right. Yeah, we know this. I should try again. Yeah, we should try again. It's the same one. Ah, uh, yeah, we already got him. Bean. Who wants bean? No one wants bean. I should try again. Yeah, let's try one more time. Hmm, I know this. I've seen it somewhere. I just can't remember where. Maybe I should get another. Changed my mind. Alright, let's head into Dwida and let's start looking around for Chinese people. And someone did mention going to the antique shop to buy more moves, so we'll check that out as well. I'm guessing that our appointment at the U Arcade has been called off. Just a feeling. I get I don't think Charlie is actually going to show up. Oh, moves are expensive? Hmm, maybe we can't afford them. Maybe we've been spending too much money on capsule... T what am I saying? You can never spend too much money on capsule toys. I'm sorry, what was I even thinking? Oh, we'll check out the U Arcade. We'll just make sure that, that Charlie is not actually there. Except first, I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure there's some Chinese old men here. Excuse me. Terribly sorry, but could you come back a bit later? Hmm, he's not interested. What about you, sir? Do you, son? Oh, what is it? Excuse me, would you read this letter for me? Well, show it to me. Do you, son? What does it say? Hmm, this has many characters I don't even recognize. This isn't normal, everyday Chinese. Sorry, but I'm unable to read it. I see. Huh, even the old Chinese man cannot read this Chinese. Then who could- Ma'am, can you read this Chinese? Um... I'm not interested in boys. Bye. Is that what the letter says, ma'am? But why was that sent to my father? Excuse me? Oh, not now. I'm too busy today. Catch me later. Oh yeah, I know what you're up to. You're just gonna buy more ramen. Can't be bothered. Well, we're at the arcade anyway. Okay, let's see if anyone's here. Doesn't look like anyone's here. Sir, can you read this letter? Excuse me? What? I'm looking for someone who can read Chinese. Do you know anyone? Chinese? The people at the Chinese restaurant probably read it, eh? Do you mean Ajiichi? Know anybody else? Nope. Nobody else. I see. So, well, I mean, we wrote that down in our notebook, but I, I doubt they're going to know. Because, yes, this is advanced, unusual Chinese. They're probably just going to refer us to the old man. Anyway, I'm very put out with Charlie. Not even showing up at this arcade, even though we made the arrangement. I mean, he did attack us, by surprise, but... I mean, I still expected him to show up. Alright, what we want are capsule toys. That never changes. I love these. Yeah, we do. Maybe just one. Hey, what's this? Hmm... I don't know. It's oh meow from Fantasy Star, of course. Maybe I should get another. 
Does this town have a library? I mean, maybe it doesn't. That's pos That's a possibility. It's the same one. Ah. No one wants popers. Maybe I should get another. We definitely don't want duplicate popers. Changed my mind. One hundred yen each. All right, let's get some VF kids. I should buy one. If only Inisan knew how we were spending her money. Hmm, I know this. We're halfway through our cash. I should try again. Well, that just means we can buy double the amount of capsules that we've already bought. Always look at the bright side of things. This is cool. It sure is. This is worth all the money we're spending. I should try again. All right, all right, all right. People are saying, let's go to the antique shop, and we should probably also go to the Aji Ichi. Let me find a map. Hmm, I didn't even press the button. Hi, go away. Oh, it's you. Come on, let's play. Next time, okay? I'm kind of busy now. By the way, go away. You're Chinese, aren't you? Yep. I'm looking for somebody who can read a letter written in Chinese. My grandmother can. Your grandmother? About your grandmother? Her name is Sha Sholi. She's real nice. Where is she? At the shop. Shop? Which shop? She sells dishes and stuff. Um, it's called Roshia. <laughs> you mean Loshia China Shop, right? <laughs> the roof is red. I'll go see her. Thanks. <laughs> that child is having some problems. Let's help him out. Tatsuya. Dude, no, not him. Dad just gave me my allowance. Don't waste it. We're not really in the position to tell anyone not to waste their money, Ryo. Hey. Hey, mister! You wanna wrestle? Some other time, okay? No, I don't wanna wrestle. I mean, you can just... I guess you can just stand there walking in place if you want. If you're happy with doing that, you can do that. If the option is either doing that or wrestling, then maybe you should just do that. Okay, the Rishia China Shop. Still need to find a map. Well, I guess we do need to talk to Tom, always. Hey. Hey, Ryo! If there is anything I can do, just ask me, okay? Sure. Well, I guess Tom cannot read Chinese, I'm gonna assume. Alright, there's the Tomato Mart, but first let's try to find a map. Usually there's a bunch of maps all around. Well, I mean, they're always in the same place, but I mean, I just happen to be in a place where they're not really maps right now. Here's one. Oh, behind me is the antique shop? Why don't we confirm that with the map? Okay, yeah, China Russia is to my left. Oh, actually, there are two. China Russia is to my left. Antiques Bunkado would be if I turned around and went south. I guess let's go to China Russia, since that's telling us to go there. We probably should. Yep, this is it. May I help you? Excuse me, are you Xiaosun? Yes, that's right. And you are? I'm Ryo Hazuki. Ah, uh, Hazuki-san? 
Oh yes, my grandson. Go and told me. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You helped him at Sakura Gaoka. Oh, I remember. He was so excited when he told me. He now aspires to grow strong and brave, just like you. It was nothing, really. <laughs> so, what brings you here? Well, I have a letter I'd like you to translate. Okay. Reversed kanji. Reversed? Yes, but they aren't just reversed left to right. They're written in a special style. Could you read it for me? Yes, of course. Beware of those who pursue the mirror. If you ever need help, seek the aid of Master Chen. Ju Yuan Da. Ju Yong Da. Master Chen? Oh, there's something written on the back, too. Tian Ji Fu, Jiao Tao Long, Ti Ji Mu, Wo Da Yo. What does it mean? Father's Heaven, Nine Dragons, Mother's Earth, Comrades. I'm sorry, it doesn't make sense. I understand. But I think this part may be a phone number. These ancient characters are numbers. A phone number? Yes. 0468 right? I've got it. Thank you very much. Hmm, learned quite a bit. We got a phone number we could try. We also found uh, four phrases that maybe if you remember, we've actually seen somewhere before in the Hazuki household. Father's Heaven, Nine Dragons, Mother Earth, Comrades. Yeah, we have seen that somewhere around. Where of those who seek a mirror? Should you need help, contact Chen. Well, I don't know if Hazuki sensei contacted Chen, but apparently it was too late. Call the number, use the phone at blank. Well, I mean, we could use any phone to call it, I suppose. What's the closest phone? Let's see. No, I don't think there's one near here. I think actually there's one if we turned around. You can only use the phone at blank. Hmm, well if we went all the way down there, well, there's a phone, but I don't think we really need to go all the way down. We could go to Sakura Gooka and there's a phone, uh, a phone booth there. But right now, let's go to the antique store since people want to see if we can buy more moves there. Let's take a look. Oh, and let's talk to Nozomi! Almost walked by her girlfriend without talking to her. Like we've done so, so many times. Nozomi. Ryo, let me know if you need any help. Sure. It's hot passion. Passion, I'm telling you. Uh, let's see. Did I run? Did I run by it? Now I'm not sure. Well, here's the tomato mart. We passed it. Okay. Got distracted by my my burning love for Nozomi. Can barely think straight whenever I'm near that girl. Minako-san. What? 
Uh, I don't know. Is there a payphone around here? I believe so, but the question is where? Now that I've got a phone in my room, I don't use payphones anymore. I see. Do you want my phone number? Or will your girlfriend get mad? No, it's nothing like that. Maybe next time, okay? That is an interesting question. Would Nozomi get mad? Is she capable of emotions? I'm not sure if either her or Ryo are capable of... of any emotions like that. Ryo, may I help you? This. All right, that was not one of the things that we can use to get a special bonus. Let's get some caramel. I think this is one of the things that we could uh, enter the the uh, the raffle with. Yo, may I help you? This. This. Draw a ticket, please. All right, this is our lucky day. I can feel it. I won. <gasps> Take your pick. Oh my god. Uh, uh, Super Sonic, uh, Metal Sonic Hot Dog Truck, uh, BB Ultra, uh, Metal Sonic? Okay, this one. Sure, there you go. Come again, yo. I don't know if there was a time limit on that, which is why I didn't do a vote. A lot of the choices in this game do have time limits, and I didn't want to risk that maybe we would not... Maybe I'd screw that up, so... We got, our, we got Metal Sonic. And no one, no one can ever take that away from us. Not even that dumb kid who keeps wanting 100 yen. We're gonna show... gonna shove this in his face and let ask him what does he think about this. We have Metal Sonic, huh? Not you. Not you. Let's find the antique store. People said it was a white door. Oh, oh slow down. Look at all the slowdown going on. Nah, this is sushi. It's behind me. I'm having the, the toughest time finding this thing. Uh, there's a white door down there. Let's see if that's it. Okay, Bunkado Antiques. Let's go in. All right. Can we buy? Can we buy martial arts moves, ma'am? Oh, Yoko. Yes, welcome. Where's Oishi-san? Grandpa is out on an errand right now. When will he return? I don't know. I see. Great! Where's your grandpa? Grandpa's out. Ask my grandpa about stuff in the shop, okay? I will, when he's back. Uh, can we look at things? I'm just gonna take this, if you don't mind. It chimes just like a real clock. Okay, here we go. Crawl Cyclone, Mud Spider, Rising Flash, Twin Swallow Leap, Tiger Storm, Arm Break Fire. Oh, well, I mean, that seems like the one, but we don't have 3,000 yen. Uh, I want to see what... Well, okay, we can go with Odd Me. So we have six choices. I'll just start up Odd Me. Okay, six choices. Number one is Rising Flash. Number two is Mud Spider. Number three is Crawl, Cyclone. Sound like Mega Man X enemies. Number four is Twin Swallow Leap. Number five is Tiger Storm. Number six, Arm Break Fire. And that seems to be all the choices we have. It looks like people are voting for the one I was interested in. Mud Spider, I just want to know 
what is that move? What kind of martial arts move do you do you have that is it's gonna be named Mud Spider? All right, let's do this thing. Can I have this? Yes. Thank you very much. This is the Scroll of Secrets. My grandfather said read this in practice and you'll become stronger. Oh my god, this girl has read all of the scrolls in here. She must be so powerful. If anyone tried to rob this store, she would probably just turn into a Super Saiyan right on the spot. Alright, let's just look at this thing. Looks like a leg move. Hmm. Oh. Oh, just right off the bat, that's all you have to do. Just read it, and ba-boom-boom, boom, you've mastered it. money do we have? 30 I mean, we actually could buy another. Alright. Let's try that again. Uh, let's do the same vote, except there's going to be no number two since we already took it. Once again, the choices are Rising Flash, which is number one, Crawl Cyclone, which is number three, Twin Swallow Leap, which is number four, Tiger Storm, which is number five, Arm Break Fire, number six. It looks like number six is in the lead, though it's kind of hard to tell. Maybe I should make that one another color than bright yellow. It's kind of hard to see it, but it's in the lead. Alright. I forget if we even have 3,000 yen. Let's check it out. Can I have this? Oh yeah, there we go. Yes, thank you very much. As my grandfather used to say, the Enlightened can understand the value of this scroll. We've spent all our money. Well, look, I mean, what else is Ryo saving up for, right? He's training to go fight a martial arts crime lord. He's probably going to die in the attempt. So, I mean, is there even a, really a reason to save for the future? Not really. Not really. Looks like a throw move. Can't wait to break Fuxan's arm with it. I mean, yeah, now we've got moves Fuxan's never even heard of. He's not going to know what to do when we bust these out on him. Does Ryo ever buy Nozomi presents? Vitamin Sushi is asking. I cannot remember ever having the option to buy Nozomi anything. I mean, you'd think that we probably should, but I don't remember us being able to do that. Sawano-san. Hello. Is now a good time? I need to ask you something. What is it? Do you remember where the payphone is around here? I'm sure there is one at Hirata-san's shop. You mean at the tobacco shop. Thank you very much. You're welcome. See you later. Yeah. See you soon. So I'm pretty sure what they're referring to is the shop by the um, the bus stop. But I don't think we really need to take all the time to run over there. Unless we're heading in that direction right now and I don't even know it. Yeah, we are. We are. Th that's the U Arcade. That means the tobacco shop is right up here. And there's a phone right here by the bus stop. Oh, damn. I put my money in already. I need to take a look at what the phone number is. Uh. Oh, I got it back. Okay. Yeah, we have, a, like, a nice little, like, fancy pink phone here. It's pretty.
All right, hold on. I'm just going to just pull up some notepad, and I'm going to type in the phone number here. All right, just so I have it in front of me. Not sure if I have to put the whole thing in. Oh, <laughs> the shop just closed as we were in the middle of making the call. But fortunately, the phone is still available. Oh, yeah, he's just... That's correct, Spiritus Knox. He's just giving us some privacy while we talk on the phone. He doesn't know how personal this phone call might be. This is how sexting used to work? Are you suggesting we're calling Nozomi at the flower shop for illicit phone calls? Hello? Father's heaven. Uh... Mother's earth. Oops. Guess I need the password. Well, I guess now we know what that thing is. Okay, Father's Heaven, the answer to that is Nine Dragons. Of course it is. Then Mother's Earth, and then Comrades. So, let's give that one more try. Fortunately, we do have a little bit of money left over. The same guy will be suspicious of the same person calling three times in a row. You know, you'd think he would be. You'd think that he would be suspicious of someone who keeps calling over and over and just keeps trying different answers. He never does become suspicious. Not great short-term memory, I guess. Dragons? Nine dragons. Mother's Earth. Comrades. Comrades. Warehouse number eight. Warehouse number eight? You. Who are you? Isn't this the Chen residence? Oops. That's warehouse number eight. Hmm. Warehouse number eight, you say? Oh, just going straight into a cutscene. Oh no, it's actually going straight into nightfall as the sun sets over Dubuita. But anyway, now we know we need to find this warehouse number eight. I need to locate it, but where could it possibly be? I don't see any warehouses around Dubuita. There's no room around here for such a thing. Hey you, warehouse number eight, do you know it? Um. Oh, not now. I'm too tired right now. I'm not in the mood to talk just now. All right, all right. You don't have to repeat yourself. Ma'am. Eddie. Huh? Have you ever heard of a warehouse number eight? No, I haven't. Oh. Well, I guess that's that. Let's go down to the red light district and see if anyone... Oh, no, this is not the red light district. But maybe someone who enjoys the nightlife of Dubuita might know where warehouse number eight is. Or maybe this guy does. Kurita-san. Yo, how are ya? I'm looking for a warehouse number eight. Warehouse number eight? Never heard of it. Why are you looking for a warehouse? No reason. <laughs> I mean, just isn't everyone looking for a warehouse? Who isn't looking for a warehouse? Hey. Hi. You're looking good. Yeah, I'm always grooving, man. If I move, more customers may come. Yeah, sure. Keep it grooving, man. Tom, have you done any research in this theory of yours that the more you groove, the more customers you'll get? I would like to know if there is a direct correlation between the amount of grooving and the amount of business you get. 
Honey san. Hi, Nyo. Do you know where a warehouse number eight is? Warehouse number eight? Sorry, I have no idea. I see. Doesn't seem like there's going to be a warehouse number eight around here. No one knows about it. Excuse me. I'm sorry, but I'm busy today. If you want to talk, ask someone else. Pardon me, I am too busy to talk to you right now. Sir? Warehouse number eight, sir? Sir? Uh, are you alright? I'm just fine and dandy! <laughs> are you sure? I'm okay! Well, he's convinced me. Hmm, who might know about warehouses? Hey, didn't we buy you a drink once? Do you know about warehouses? Hey. Hiya. Is it okay if I ask now? I'm kind of busy at the moment. Sorry. Got it. See you later. Everyone's always busy. Excuse me. What can I do for you? What's the matter? Have you heard of a warehouse number eight? A warehouse? No, I haven't. Don't you have any leads? Like an address or a phone number? If you know the phone number, you could look it up in the phone book, you know? The phone book. Right, thank you. I didn't think about that. Uh, yes? Something else? Uh-uh. Sorry. You have to leave now. Bye. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry if I was wasting your time. Hmm, phone book. Can I get the address from the phone number? Number assistance is 104. Hmm. You do get you do get help in the unusual places, don't you? Um, let's see. I guess let's head back to that phone that we were using. Does that mean we can find Azomi's house? I mean, I assume Ryo already knows where she lives. I would hope so. information I'd like for you to tell me the address of phone number 615647 I am terribly sorry but it's not possible to look up an address from a telephone number Ah <laughs> uh, Let's ask about uh warehouse number 8 It's probably the number for a place called warehouse number 8 I'm terribly sorry but it's not possible to use a telephone number to look up an address I see Well thanks Thank you very much. Hmm. I guess let's try that again and ask for Chen. Should I look at the book? Well, let's ask for Chen and see what happens. I don't know if we can interact She'll with the phone book. Again. <laughs> she just won't do it. She won't do what we want. Oh well. Now let's see if we can interact with the phone book, I guess. Uh, that, 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 uh, that, that, there it is. Sixty-one. Sixty-one. Got it. 61. It's in Amihama. 
can you believe this? That operator telling us that we can't find the address from the phone number, and clearly we just were able to do that. Area code 61 is for Amihama, which, that, whatever, wherever that is, it's not here. I guess we should probably ask people if they know about Amihama. Ma'am, Amihama? Do you have a minute? Sorry, but I have a lot of things to do. If you're trying to pick me up, forget it. Find someone else. Well, yes, I suppose the, t the telephone operator is probably in on it. She's part of the conspiracy. Eddie. What? Dio? Hey. Oh, yeah, Dio. Huh? Hey, I bought a new camera the other day. It's the kind you don't have to take to the shop to get the film developed. That's cool. You only have to aim and shoot. And then the photo comes out. I'll take a picture of you and Nozomi with it sometime. No, that's okay. Sure it is. <laughs> and you'd better cooperate. Hey. What? Do you know where Amihama is? <laughs> oh, you going to the harbor? Hey, why don't you take Nozomi with you? The seaside is so romantic. Well... What do you mean, well? What is with you? Pay more attention to Nozomi. <laughs> hey. What? I'm busy right now. Don't talk to me. Sorry. <laughs> no thanks. I don't want a picture of me and my g girlfriend to be... To be to, uh, I'm sorry, I don't want... Oh boy, I don't... Uh, I'd really rather not th have my picture taken with Nozomi, thanks. Tom. Hi, Dio! Can you tell me the way to Amihama? Sure! The harbor, right? Take a bus from the main street straight down there. I see. Thanks. Alright, so we know <laughs> we can take a bus to go down to the harbor. The bus stop is near the tobacco shop. Well, it's probably... Oh yeah, that says it right there, actually, that we need to go by bus. So, it's probably a bit too late to do that tonight. I guess that'll have to wait for another day. Uh, there's our there's our walking buddy walking home. Um, how's it hanging? Doesn't have a whole lot to say. How much does the bus cost? Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter that much because it's a new day, which means that uh, we will have more of our allowance given to us by Ine-san, so it'll cover it. Aoi-san. Hey! I have something I want to ask you. I'm sorry, Ryo, but I got some things I gotta do now. Is that so? Well, see ya. And that's probably... Is that closed? I guess let's find out. Yep, it's closed. They're not open yet. Not like we even need that anyway. We've already gotten a translation of the thing. So we don't need them to read the thing for us. Oh, hey, it's our biker friends. Shinkichi-san. Uh, Howdy! Is now a good time? Sorry, but I got some urgent business to take care of. I see. All right, you guys, I found Charlie, and you would have been so impressed at how I handled him and his gang. Um... What do you want? Just fronting as usual. I need to ask you something. I got nothing to say to you. Um... Who the hell do you think you're talking to? You fronting with me? All day, every day. I've got a question for you. I told you, forget it. I will hurt you. <sighs> Our social link remains zero with these guys. Um, I heard from the tattoo artist. You had no intention of joining our gang. You didn't even want to get a tattoo, did you? Nope. I was just looking for a guy named Charlie. Sorry I lied. And I was seriously considering letting you join our gang. Ah, anyway, it's okay. Just scram, and don't bug me again. Uh, we already got that conversation. I do like how I realize now that, it, yeah, Ryo was actually fronting. That other biker was right the whole time. Ryo was just fronting. 
Anyway, it's 10 o'clock, so you know, I guess that probably means we should start heading back to Sakuragoka if we want to make it home in time so Ine-san does not worry. Because we don't want, we don't want Ine-san to worry. It's very, everyone knows that we're staying out all hours of the night and Ine-san has been telling everyone about it. And I don't know why she's telling so many people about what's going on in the Hazuki household. But, uh, everyone knows that we are worrying her. Don't you just warp home, someone asks? Yeah, if we stay out till, I think, 11.30, we'll warp home. But if we did that, we would have worried Inesan. I think she is officially worried, um, at 11 o'clock is, I think, what it is. I think if we make it home before then, then Ine-san is not worried. Oh, Quakerin, do we actually do get a decreased allowance if we worry her? Well then, we definitely don't want to worry Ine-san that time. Oh man, I just looked down at the chat widget and noticed that the ad in the chat widget has the answers to all of Ryo's problems. If Ryo only went to ask.com, he could continue his search. If only Ryo knew back in 1984 about ask.com. Or is it 84, 85? It's one of those things. Unfortunately, Ryo does not know, and there's no one he can ask about ask.com. Eighty-six is the year, oh, it says Ark of Turris. AOL keyword ask. Go to the chat room. Ask people if they know about Londi. Alright, we're back at the house. Uh, and, you know, I don't, th I don't think I actually pulled out the Saturn when we were looking around the house the first time. Might as well see if we can do that. Nothing we can play on it, but might as well see if we can actually get it out. get to bed. Well, I mean, it's only 10.30, Rio. We have a little bit of time. There we go. Can I look at the Saturn? It's not... Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. No! I look at the... No! <laughs> Why is it so hard to look at the Saturn? <laughs> Alright, nothing's happening when I try to interact with it. We don't have any games. I believe that we can... Um... I believe we can win copies of Hang On and Space Harrier and play them at home for free. Um, but we don't have those things. Hmm? Is that... Is that the phone? Hold on, hold on! Hello? Leo? Nozomi, what's up? Yeah. At Sakuragoka Park? I'll be waiting. All right. Right now? Oh, man. We are going to make Ine-san so worried. Sorry, Ine-san, but some things we have to do. <laughs> Nozomi, what's the matter? Sorry to call you out. It's okay. I had to talk with you alone. But with all the problems you've been having... Is it so important? For me, yes. Do you have time to talk? Yes, but... 
I can't stay long. I know. You see, I... I'd wanted to wait until things settled down before I told you. But I can't wait any longer. I just can't... can't hold it in. I'm sorry. Nozomi... It's about my feelings for you, but... If I don't tell you now, I feel like I'll miss my chance to... Has something happened? Last night, my mom called from Canada. My father is insisting that I return. So you're leaving soon? I don't know when, but... I can't go without letting you know how I feel. I know. Huh? But right now, I... I don't really know how I feel. I understand. When you're ready, tell me. I will. I'm sorry I called you out. Nozomi, don't forget to say goodbye. Hmm. See you. It's a, it's heartbreaking to see two people who so who are so obviously so right for each other. Two people who have such chemistry that, you know, you see them next to each other and you know those two people were destined to be forever, for, together forever. Only to find that one of them is going to have to go to Canada and the other is going to have to go somewhere to single-handedly fight a Chinese kung fu evil crime cartel and probably die in the attempt. It's quite a thing how life turns out for us. Who could have thought that this is how... It would have gone for Ryo and the zombie. Well, I mean, I, even though the zombie's going to Canada, it was mentioned uh, during the Shenmue 3 Kickstarter that she would be one of the people that you would be able to make phone calls to with the, uh, the phone card that was a Kickstarter reward, so there is uh, likely that we are going to have more phone calls with Nozomi in the future in Shenmue 3. But as far as right now goes, she hasn't left for Canada yet. She still is in Japan for right now. Uh, but for how long? I don't know. I don't know. Another thing I don't know is if Ryo will actually have that picture taken with her. For some reason, he really did not want to... He wasn't keen on the idea of a picture of him and Nozomi being taken. I'm not sure why. So, um, anyway, we uh, we got made some progress today in Shenmue. We spoke with Charlie. Um, he broke our appointment and attacked us with thugs, and we fought them. We got the fancy Chinese translated. We found out about warehouse number eight and found out where it is. I would assume that tomorrow in Shenmue world next week in real time world we're going to go to the bus go to warehouse number eight or wherever that area is and see if we can find this master chen until then i think it's about time to well it's about the time to to say good night and of course we were not able to do as much game stuffs as we usually do each week because of the power outage and because we only basically were able to do half a stream this week. Sorry about that. But at least, at least we were able to, uh, to do some Shenmue and continue on the investigation. I was going to play some DOS stuff, so we'll see if we do that next week or if anything else comes up next week. We'll see what happens. As for this coming week... Uh, was there a storm or something? No, no storm, no thunderstorm, just uh, pa all power went out. Don't know why, but fortunately got fixed. Uh, this coming week should be the final Enemy Zero videos, the final interlude, and the last part of the actual Enemy Zero itself. Uh, and then after that, you know, we'll see about what we're going to do for the next Let's Play. Um, have 
have an idea on what's going to come up next. Ark of Turris mentioning Realms of the Haunting, that is correct. Um, it, it'll probably be a little while before that one actually starts, because I have not done any preparation yet. I have to replay the game and think about how I want to how I want to present it and all that. Um, right now, I've been focusing on Enemy Zero, and once Enemy Zero is done, I should probably also take some time to uh, you know get back on some Explig videos. Maybe some Explic horrors in the meantime, Quakerin. Yep, that is something else that I do want to get to, and uh, just haven't in the past few weeks. But that is one of the things that I'm thinking about. So yeah, after Enemy Zero, probably Explic, and then prepping for Realms of the Haunting. Well, even though we only had half a stream, uh, I hope you had fun. I hope you had a good time with the little time that we had together, and I hope you have a good week. And I hope that you come back next time to continue on with Ryo's Adventure for Revenge. And then probably DOS games. Probably that's what we're going to do. I'll see you next time.